Hi guys, um, this guy's been painted for about a week or so now, but I've just been that caught up at work, I haven't been able to do a model showcase for everyone. So I'm going to do one now. Uh, when I finished painting them, I put them on eBay, and I paid €70 Euro for the kit posted, and I set the thing the price bit starting point at uh, 95 euro plus postage and that was just to cover the fact that I boosted a post on Facebook so that actually cost me 14 euro and Facebook said it cost 11 which was a bit of a kick in the backside um, so I took that into account so I was only making a couple of euro on it but thankfully the bidding has gone up so I'm making a profit on it so what I'm going to try and do is order in some more orc stuff and paint and sell that as well. So we'll just go around and I'll talk about what I've done. And here you can see, oh, maybe if I turn it, he does rock. Especially if he likes music. And there you can see. I've done battle damage I suppose you could say along the base here and the same along the feet as if it's been scraping along stuff. I'd see this as kind of a plow more so than nothing else. Freehand checkers, a bit of rust. Same again here on this. You can see some silver on it from where it's clanking closed. I'll keep it going here. On his foot there is just a little freehand orchid design. The base is just cork and static grass. I must actually tidy up the paint that black. I originally thought the weapon here that I'll show you in a second was a flamer, so I was going to do it all blackened and stuff, and I'm glad I didn't because I don't think it's a flamer. Here's the legs, plenty of different washes and rust. This is a custom colour on the pipes here that I made, or the wiring. I'll have a look at the bottom section of the back and we'll move up again. Uh, sorry about that light there. Just give me a second. It's still not great. It's not great. Goddamn light is just terrible in this country. Um, yeah, let's keep it moving. The arms are detachable. This is just a nine me out the way. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, where were we? We're here. This weapon here, I freehanded on the checkered symbol. I didn't do it perfectly because it's orcs, like it's not gonna be 100%. I just tried to do some OSL in here because I think it's some kind of laser gun or something. I'm not quite sure. As you can see, it moves, it's posable to an extent. This little this is like four shooters stuck together, that comes off. Let me give this bit of spin around, you can see the brass tanks here and all the wiring. The, uh, this bit here is very weathered, you can see the black on the exhausts. Again, yeah, more checker pattern in the inlay of the shoulder pad, some battle damage there. Plenty of washes were used in this model. Coming around here you can see some rust kind of in the recesses done a lot of rust in on the disc bit as if this was lying in a scrap yard and they just kind of found it some freehand designs to match the artwork on the box on the rockets there these claw sections actually do move and I painted a nice bit of blood on them as if they've been used quite recently uh, in here this claw comes out it's just like this is basically a mini version of what's on his arm. There you go. That's done. So that just sits back in there. The head comes out as well. The orc. Um, did I glue the orc in? I think I did. Uh, there's the custom force field generator up here. I'll have a look at it in a second. The head does move. As you can see there, I really enjoyed painting the head. But uh, what I was most proud of was not, not the fact that I actually finished the model, was these tusks here. I actually 
I was very happy with the effect that I got on them and the way they, they turned out and uh oh oh uh oh I guess I shouldn't have pulled that yeah that's gonna need some repair whoops but um there you go it's all falling apart now I've ruined everything what have I done so when you open the door or something like this and you have an assault ramp so you can charge straight out and you get an extra six attacks because you're charging out of uh, a broken orc vehicle and the gun shoots bullets and then you can fire that like a missile as well yeah I'm gonna end this here because it looks like I have some repair work to do so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos